right, hey guys, if you're new, hey, and um, today I'm going to be um, telling a story. Eventually I'll get a chair so it looks more professional, but for now, I'm just going to be here in this area, the area that looks clean, like up there in my pretty stuff, the nice background kind of stuff. So yeah, okay, so... I used to go to a private school, and I don't know if that makes you more confrontational because, like, they, like, keep you in a tight bubble, and they're like, oh, public school is bad, and, like, it was a Catholic private school, so it was, like, uniforms, everything, by the book, so, like, yeah, so then we, um, after elementary sc school, we transferred to a, um, a different elementary school, like, for one grade or two grades, and it was public school, and then we transferred to, like, a public middle school so like it just seemed like I was always getting in fights and the common denominator was not me I don't know something was going on and everyone was always trying to fight me or like to get in like a debacle with me so I always be in the office they'd be like oh hi Kobe what you do this time and like huh, nothing again I've never done anything so this one time after right after the fingerprint lab in science class this one boy who just always picking on me he always had something to say about me like you know like when people like and they look over at you and then and they look back over at you you can like even if i don't hear what you're saying i know you're talking about me so like he would do that to me every single day and this one day he was just bothering me i didn't even know he was just like on me about something just like trying to fight with me and i was like you know what i'm not even gonna i'm not going to this time so I just stayed to myself and then for some reason he told everyone to get out of the class like we're going like down my teacher's name um Mr. J he knows who he is and yeah so Mr. J says everyone out in the room and we'll call this guy I'm fighting with let's call him let's call him Jake or something okay so Jake is like calling me out and like looking at me funny and like just like so everyone leaves the class and I was the last one to leave the class but the teacher left first which, teachers, if you're watching this, don't leave a class first. I walk over to this kid's table, Jake's table. I walk over to where he was sitting. I grab all his pencils. I said, I'm going to snatch up all your shiz. It's mine now. So I take all his pencils, and I snap them. And I leave them right there on the table. Mm. And I walk out. He sees me walk out. Jake sees me walk out. We make eye contact as I leave the classroom. So then we did whatever we were doing in the hallways, like a procedure or something, maybe for a five-year-old. I don't know. And then the teacher's like, okay, everyone back in the class. So everyone's walking back in the class. Jake gets to his table. I'm trying not to look at him, but I'm trying to see, you know, how he's reacting because I feel good because he's rude to me. So I'm looking at him just a little bit like, out of the corner of my eye. And it seems like, and he looks up and catches my eye. I was like, I was like uh-uh. Dang it. He goes over tells Mr. J, Mr. J, Kobe broke all my pencils. She broke them. And Mr. J, being the smart science teacher he is, he said, don't worry, we just did the fingerprint lab. The fingerprints of whoever broke it is on the pencil, and I'll get them. He, like, asked me multiple times. I said, no, I did not break that pencil. I did not. And then we had to go out of the classroom again for some other random sh shiznits. So everyone, out of the classroom, I grab that pencil and take it. I put that stuff, like, on me. I don't know if I tucked it, like, in my legs or, like, in my shirt arms or, like, I hid that. I don't remember where exactly, but I hid all the pieces. Even the mechanical ones, too. I hid them on me. All right, everyone back in class. Mr. J. Jake's all like, Mr. J, all my pencils are gone. All the pencils that were just here on your desk to fingerprint are gone. She took them. And I said, no, I did not. I swear on my life, I did not take this. Like, I'm, like, swearing... I'm I'm promising on all things that I did not take this pencil or all these pencils or whatever. And he calls me over the other class like Kobe, stay. I was like like on my way and he's like, Kobe, stay. You know that disappointment when a teacher tells you to stay in particular I was like, ooh, I was just like what? So I'm staying, everybody else left. I get to his desk, he's like, Kobe, where did you put the pencil? I was like, I didn't take the pencil, I swear he's like Kobe, I remember these words, these words that every parent, every teacher always says, I'm just really disappointed in you. I was like, well, you can be disappointed because I didn't do anything. And then he's just like shaking his head. 
I'm out of that classroom. I snap this pencil into even in smaller pits, throw some in the sewer, throw some in the garbage, take some home with me. Nobody's ever found that pencil. All those pencils are gone. All the evidence is gone. I did not break that pencil. So, Mr. J, if you ever see this video, I... What do you expect? He was rude to me. Not like you didn't know he was rude to me. I mean, come on. It's just a pencil. I didn't, I didn't like, break anything important or anything. So, that's my story. Guess I'm a pencil thief, so what you gonna do? Alright, guys. Guess what I decided? I decided since I always have this extra time slot in my um day that I'm going to be making videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays. I know. I know. You're welcome. Anyway, so I will see you guys on Wednesday. If you haven't seen my videos, check them out over there. Subscribe up there. Maybe even turn on the notification if you feel like it. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.